Hi, this is Aisha Irfan from Creative Computing Year 1, Batsby University. And this is my prototype for experience design. My app serves and helps the people who find it difficult to understand certain words and, and they have to go again and again um, through different sites to search for their meanings, which can be really annoying and um, frustrating at times. And as well as for the people who find it really difficult to remember stuff while they read a book, which can again make them frustrated or not as much engaged while reading. And I'm thrilled to, thrilled to introduce you to a revolutionary book app called Booklink that will change the way you read and experience books. Are you ready to dive into the world of literally wonders? Well, get ready because we're about to embark on an incredible journey. To start off, we have a screen um, that shows a login button and a sign-in button with the app's logo and a slogan to start with. So we're gonna press the sign-in button. So upon pressing the sign-in button, we get a page to where we fill the login details. Um, and we have option to either log in from Facebook or Google. So we're gonna just um, enter our details such as email, username, password, and as well as the terms and conditions. And we're gonna press start reading. And as we press start reading, we have the user has vast variety of genres to choose from and can choose as many as they please. So here we're gonna choose a few for demonstration purposes. And after choosing, we're gonna press the button next. And after pressing the button next, we see the um, horror genre and all the genres we um, choose in the last screen. And the first page shows or represents the horror side. And we see a free section right above and a paid section of paid books and free books. This goes along through every genre as in romance as well as fairy tale. And beneath we see three more toggles to explore. So we're gonna go here and here basically our app allows the user to write their own book and publish their own book into our app. And so people can read, give reviews and like. Here uh, in the library section, we have our current reads. And here all um, the user will be able to see all the, of the, all the books available offline. And right beneath that, they will also see some recommendations which they might find it interesting to explore and read. In the archive section in the library, here are the stories that will be updated, will appear here, but they cannot be read offline and they won't take up space. In the reading list, we will, um, the user will have all their books um, right here in the reading list. Notification bar, here we have, here the user will get all the recommendations, all the notifications from their favorite followers and the book recommendations and etc. To dive into the concept of my app, we are going to choose a book for demonstration purposes, romance. Um, we're going to choose a book called The Light We Lost. Upon choosing the book, we see the book's cover page, the author's picture with her name, with the amount of people who read this book, the amount of people who liked this book and the amount of chapter this book contains with the name of the book 
the genre and the date of publish and right beneath that we can see and read about this book. Right after, the, right after clicking read we see the first chapter of the book with the name of the chapter right, ab right above and again the chapter number right, right beside that as well. And beneath again we see five um, toggle bars which we can go through real quick. In the content section we have all the chapters that are yet to read or have been read. So as of now the user is in chapter number one and there's this progress toggle bar. Here the progress of the user will be shown um, along each chapter or as a whole book. In the light toggle we see colors the user can choose from. The background colors can be changed, the brightness of the um, screen can be changed or can be set to the default system brightness and the dark mode can be also switched on. So here we can just change the background color just like that. And in the font section, the user, the user has three options again, reading mode, text size and reading fonts. Reading mode is basically um, two modes um, the user can choose from as they please. Either it can be paging or um, scrolling. Text size can also be altered as well as the reading fonts which can be chosen randomly as the user pleases. And um, lastly we have more where we get again more options where we can see and know about the book. We can see our annotations, we can see the dictionary we saved, our dictionary, we can see our bookmarks, we can see our read time, we can also set our time here as well as see our time and manage our reading time as well. We can see the downloads and we can see account here. So upon pressing account, we see a sign out button, a home button which will take us back to um, the section of books, our inbox where we get all the messages through our friends or our followings. Here we have all the people whom we follow, all the publishers. Here are the here are the section where all your purchased books will appear right there. And here is an option where you can rate the app and help center if you find any difficulty through the app or through um, using the app. And here are some additional settings. Right. So. Um, first primary feature of the app is basically um, for the users who find it difficult to understand certain words which will again make which, will, which again is annoying. Um, so to solve that problem our app introduced an inbuilt dictionary as in so for example um, the user presses a specific word like we press here appearance. And upon pressing appearance, we have three alternative meaning of that same word. And the user can press anyone he or she finds it comfortable with and to comfortable and comfortable to understand. So if, for example, we'll press aspect right there. And that word will be automatically swapped with the original word, which will make it again easier for the user to understand and to continue reading without any disturbance. And without any worry because all the changes the user does in a chapter or in a whole book will be automatically get saved in the section called my dictionary in the more toggle bar right here with the word that was with the original word and the word that was changed with the name of the chapter the name of the book the chapter number and the line it was changed in. Next, we have our second primary feature is basically being able to annotate and add your own comments 
and being able to edit your comments and share your annotations with your loved ones and your friends and family. So here we're going to choose a sentence. Upon choosing the sentence, we get a um, variety of colors to choose from to highlight the line or the sentence. And so uh, we can choose one color like this one. And so the word autom automatically gets highlighted. And um, the user, if the user pleases, they can add a comment over here like that. And again, upon pressing more annotations, um, as the user presses annotations, they'll get a whole history of their um, chapters. And as of now, the user in chapter one. So we're going to press chapter one. And upon pressing chapter one, we get more options, more um, additional options that our app provides are highlights, comments, quotes a person can save, the user can save, um, bookmarks the user saved, personal reflection about the chapter itself, like a summary of the chapter, or the summary of the whole entire book. Screenshots, hyperlinks, share, where the annotation can be shared with the friends and family, and um, where, you also, where you can also get reactions upon your share. Here we also have an option to download a PDF file. So for now, we're going to press the highlights. And by pressing the highlight and tag um, option, we get a number of, again, we get a lot of highlights to choose from that we already uh, have used. So as of now, we have used this one. So upon pressing that one, we get the book's name right above the chapter number with the highlight color right next to the chapter number and with the highlighted text. And with the highlighted text, we get a comment icon. And when we press the comment, when the user presses the comment icon, they can view the comment they added to the um, highlight. And after the user finishes reading the whole book, all their annotations, all their comments will be saved and organized one by one, chapter-wise, right here, which they can scroll if they um, please to. Um, then um, the user can go back to annotations and scroll right down and we can see an option called download PDF. Then the PDF can be clicked and here will all your annotations be saved. Your PDF will be automatically sent to the um, email the user provided while logging in or signing into our app. Um, the, the appearance of the PDF file can be also altered while uh, with the color, text font, the text size, and etc. From here, um, and there's an option right down to download as a PDF. The PDF will be get saved inside the app as well as in your phone in the files section. So we can gonna we're gonna click more again. We're gonna go to account again, home, and that's about it. That was my app called Brooklyn, and I was absolutely thrilled and um, excited to tell you about my app. Thank you so much for watching.